Watch New Day every weekday at 6 a.m. New Day is brought to you by Givers Capsules. All right, so we're still on the issue on meningitis. And this afternoon, I do have a representative of the Ghana Education Service here with me. He is in the person of Reverend Jonathan Better, the Director of Public Relations of the GES. Thanks for your time, sir. Thank you. Now, first of all, how worried is the GES? Because we know that as of now, six deaths from meningitis, especially from the Kumasi Academy and the Boko Senior High School, have been recorded. Well, thank you very much. If you ask how worried Ghana Education Service is, it's the entire Ministry of Education and Ghana Education Service. We are highly worried about the situation. Uh, but we've taken the consolation, the fact that the doctors, medical uh, officers have come in to see how best way they can help our children in diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a need for us to diagnose. Uh, go to the schools where this is prevalent uh, to see how best it could be addressed so that when school resume next term, there will not be any fear or panic uh, as far as the children are concerned. So, now, if I can cut in, in going to the schools, we know that you have decentralized systems that work. Have these authorities in those areas that have been affected been to the schools already? No, they haven't been to the schools Why? already. This is because we've just started with uh, uh, getting the information from Ashanti region. We want to take it from here, and wherever we realize um, it's been affected, we will uh, speak to the regional director, speak to the district directors to be connected to the I'm, I'm, district I'm, health I'm asking facility. because this news has been out for some days now, and yes. it's not new. So yes. how come you're now going to take now, the initiative Ghana education to service, Ghana Education Service cannot take any prompt action without a uh, final report from the health services. So we just had this yesterday. So when we re received the information, my director general advised that all the district directors should contact the district health facilities, the doctors, for this checkup. When the checkup is done, we will take it from there. We are not medical practitioners. Mm -hmm. We are just teachers. And we are the uh, parents of the children as far as we are concerned. So we are so much concerned and we wanted the health facilities to take their action first before we come in. We cannot jump the gun. Now, in going there too, are you going to look at the bit of overcrowding and congestion, even at some of these uh, boarding schools, which is also a concern because it's spread to contact as well? Well, this particular question is also part of uh, the priorities of uh, the Ministry of Education, especially the minister. Um, I believe strongly that it will not be long the minister will be sending a message to all uh, headmasters through the Ghana Education Service has to bring um, the enrollment figures and how many students is in a particular dormitory because mm -hmm. it's about heat issues. So we will send those information and quickly take an action. If there is any provision to be made before school resume, we will do that. If there is no provision, if there is any other uh, facility within that compound where these students can be accommodated for boarding um, for a temporary uh, reason, we will do that as early as possible. And We're working sick days, health way. facilities in the school. The doctor who spoke to my colleague mentioned that some hospitals had been linked for to the schools within the affected areas, but for the sick bays as well, are you looking at Well, that, that, that is part of the action that uh, okay. the ministry is taking in collaboration with the, the health Ghana, people. The Ghana Health yeah. Service, all right. But it will be uh, prudent that we use this opportunity to express our gratitude to the doctors and mm -hmm. all p stakeholders who are seriously taking this upon themselves to okay. keep the minutes. Thank you very much, Reverend Jonathan Better. He's the PRO, Ghana Education Service Doc, that's the Director, Public Relations for the Ghana Education Service. And we're looking at some measures that have been put in place by the Ministry of Education as well as the Ghana Education Service. You